we are in the Warhammer 6R. So this is going to be um, a pretty uh, uh, pretty fun time because the, the Warhammer 6R is a great variant. It's got those ballistic hard points up in its torsos very high. Now, the Warhammer doesn't come with any um, ballistic quirks, but of course you can put those in as you like. Um, this is really the build I've been running with. Now there's some other good ones like using uh, UAC tins is also a fun one. LBX tins is fun and medium pulse lasers, but this one right here is just uh, pretty good. Now another thing is um, you could just go with an AC20 and uh, the, really the reason I use two tins is because one the range, the velocity, and the cooldown is quicker. Yes, it weighs like twice, almost as twice as much as um, an AC-20. Um, but then again, they do shoot faster, they do shoot further, and uh, I like them. You can't really, I can't really compare this to the Jaeger mech I did the other day. Or you know the other a few videos ago because the Jaeger mech had so many ballistic quirks already and the ones that I um, unlocked just stacked on top of it they stacked so yeah you are kind of limited to your ballistic quirks but um, it's still really good I mean these AC 10 still shoot pretty fast the 6R was really meant to use PPCs um, and I'm, I'll have to try that out one of these days. But yeah, there's really no wrong build for this. It's just what you want. Um, UX shoot way faster. Um, they might be a better suit for uh, some, some pilots. I like using them a lot too. We're going to go for Delta here. Done. We just took out that night gear. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving. Yeah, we got to stay aggressive in this area right here. We don't want to start NASCARing. Echo, Mad Cat. I think we should just push straight across. Echo, come on. We got that CT. Come on. Damn. We got away. Can we still get him? Let me go for him. Oh. Blood Asp. He needs to go now. Over that CT. Alright, he's down. To our left, we do have a Roughneck. Watch out for Roughneck. It's a 2A as well. Very good mech there. He's backing up. Thanatos. We're going to lay it all out on this Thanatos here. I like having the SRM6. Because um, the 6R only has one missile, so. Foxtrot. Oh, no, screw that. Let's go for uh, this Banshee here. Oh, no. Did I not? I could have sworn I brought more ammo. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got this. The Roughneck is in the valley there. There's been some good matches today. Oh crap. Nova. Nova and a Irby. I would rather fight the Nova any day. Come on. Oh, come on. Arctic Wolf. You wanna, you wanna play Arctic Wolf? Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Irby's coming back. The street Cleaner coming back for more. Ugh. Oh. Going for, uh, what is that? Arctic Wolf still attacking me? Irby, die! Irby's down. Arctic Wolf's. Here he comes. Indigo. Pop him. Alright. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun there. Uh, I think I might have. Yeah, I didn't bring enough ammo. I That's weird. Because I had it already. Oh, I know what I did. Uh, one kill, nine assists, one solo, three KMDDs, 716 damage. Not bad for a quick match there. Um, I need to add another ton of ammo. But um, it really does perform well. 
really, really well. And uh, it's a good starter Mac too for your first heavy. I definitely recommend it. I think we got time for another match. So let's go ahead and get into that. Hey guys, welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and uh, today <laughs> today's video is going to be all over the place because I really don't have a lot of time today. So we're just going to be playing some matches here and there. I'm probably going to be using this Warhammer right here, the 6R. I really like the 6R because it's got those two ballistic hard points, and it's the only standard Warhammer that has ballistics. So that makes it pretty uh, special to me since I like ballistics. Um, now it doesn't come with any ballistic quirks, which is the thing. Uh, this mech is uh, comes with PPC quirks, so naturally PPCs are good to use on it. But I always put ballistics on the 6R. It's been a long time since I've uh, used the 6R, and this is like a really good starter mech, especially if you're wanting to um, um, try out the Warhammer. And if you like your ballistics, you got to go with the 6R. I mean, those are great ballistic hard points, and um, it's got energy and missiles. As for the build that I'm using, I've been switching back and forth between a couple. My The most common one I use is this one right here, two AC-10s, some medium lasers, and an SRM-6. Now this might change. Um, sometimes I take off the SRM-6, sometimes I add UAC-10s. But j overall, going AC-10s or UAC-10s or LBX-10s really is uh, your choice. UAC-10s are going to shoot a lot faster. They seem to do more damage um, over time. But AC-10s seem to have a stronger punch. That's my opinion. I do have an SRM-6 on here. Um, I might be taking that off. So today's video is not the usual uh, thing. Hell, I might even run another mech. I don't know yet. But we're just going to um, really just uh, mess around. I've been playing some Solaris too. So um, this is actually a really good Solaris mech. Uh, right here now some, sometimes the matchmaking is like kind of unfair I mean I'm going up against atlases and this and and night stars and blood asps and I've done pretty well but I've also done pretty bad so but this this mech right here is so freaking good I recommend the 6R it is awesome um, yeah but that's it there's no I have no schedule no uh, um, plan for this one so um, and I can't really I can really I can go over a little bit we can go over like the, the skills that I have, the quirks. So the big ones, of course, are the cooldowns, the um, range for if you have energy weapons or missile weapons, your velocity, your heat. I went up and got missile quirks, uh, my laser duration quirks, my max heat quirks. Um, the big thing, though, was the cooldown, and this mech doesn't come with any um, cooldown quirks when you first get it. So whatever cooldown quirks you get are the only ones. And that's and it's kind of sucks because I wanted to try to, to compare this to the Jaeger mech, the uh, last video I did using dual AC tins, but the thing is the Jaeger mech already comes with the minus 15% cooldown, so the other basically 15% cooldown that I got stacked on top of it. Anyways, um, I think the skills so far look like this. I'm not done with it yet. Still got a lot to do, but basically as you can see, I am definitely going for laser durations, cooldowns, heat gens, velocities. I'm on uh, high explosives there. I'd actually have quite a bit of XP I can use right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up, and then we're going to go ahead and get into a match. But, uh, yeah, as I said, switching these AC-10s to UAC-10s is also a really good idea. It just depends. They're a little bit more hot. They create more heat. AC-10s really don't create too much heat. Um, and for this build, I actually like using them together instead of chain fire. It's just a really nasty punch, and... Um, it's a pretty good build. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get to a match. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, we are on Rubelite. Rubelite Oasis. 6R. Same build here. Another really good build that I actually want to do a video on, like, tomorrow, is the, uh, or on my next video. Um, I want to do the uh, Dual LBX-20. Warhammer. It's tough because uh, I like having range on my ballistic builds and I mean the LBX-20 does have a long range but it's just really not meant to go that far. It can but it definitely performs better at medium to close range. Um, so it is a little bit different but I mean that's like you know two LB-20s is basically me carrying four sets of these AC-10s and I mean one 
if you can manage to stay in medium to close range, um, stay in optimal range with that build, um, you're set. So uh, I messed around with it a little bit, just a little bit, and uh, I did, I mean, the damage output's amazing on it. This one's a little bit, as I said, uh, ultra auto cannons will shoot faster and probably get you more damage. Um, so AC-10s do have the slower rate of fire, but even with these cooldowns that I have, um, heat's pretty good, the cooldowns are good, uh, velocity's fine. I just wish I had some extra ballistic quirks to stack on top of the ones I have now. I just, I just, there's nothing else I can do. You can only get so far with certain weapons. But then again, I definitely recommend this build. We are going around the back side here. I think we're going to go up this ramp. That's probably a good idea and just push the hell out of them straight up into there. And uh, luckily, and hopefully, we will be in a close range battle here. Because that's what I like getting into in this Warhammer. Keep pushing up. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Don't stop. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that LBX20 build. <laughs> they didn't like that very much. Yeah, they're not gonna like this either. All right, there's a UAV up. Someone hit that, cause I'm not gonna hit it. Just, just take it out. Thank you. My medium lasers will not reach. Alright, here we go. Coming around this corner here. Irby. That's not what I want to run into. I'd ra I would rather run into an assault mech than an Irby. There is a Warhammer around that corner as well. Try to get a good angle on him here. If he's still there, I'm not sure. Yep, there he is. Damn. There's a cougar on the top. Nice. We just took out that warhammer like it was nothing. As you can see, my arms are uh, pretty damaged, and that's just because there's not much armor in them. Going for this Orion 2C here. Gonna keep just focusing on his CT there. Keep going. He's down. Oh, there goes my arm. And that's why we were not putting any weapons in there, because I can lose both of my arms and still function fully with everything. They, bas they basically just soak up some damage for me, so yeah. Naturally, you're going to drop the armor points, and then we're going to drop straight down and just start brawling here. This might have been a mistake. Ah, hell spawn. There goes my other arm. Keep fighting, come on. Come on. Take that. Executioner. Gonna take on this executioner, holy crap. Alright. Hell spawn. Come on, kill him. Oh my god, how many shots can you take? Oh. oh man, I got lucky that I overheated right there. Executioner is still alive. Kilo. He's trying to get me, but I'm not gonna let him. Oh man. Wow. Wow. My team, my team came in at the right time, and like I don't know if they wouldn't have uh, helped out. I don't think I would be uh, alive. That was insane, but it's fun doing that. It might have been stupid, yeah, 
but it was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Uh, one kill, not assist, one solo, four KMDD, 633 damage. So not as much damage as last match, but we did get four KMDD, so we put quite a bit of damage on some of those mechs. And that little brawl at the end was a lot of fun, and that's what it's all about. I'm surprised I survived. I mean, I jumped in front of an Executioner, an Arctic Wolf. God knows what the other two mechs were. But uh, it, it's a, a, a cheap, reliable, heavy mech. And the 6R, you can put ballistics on it, whatever you want to do with it. And it can take a beating. We'll see you guys next time. Fuzzy Nova, out.